Good morning. I think I might try to vlog a little bit today. I don't know how well I'll do and I don't know what all happened today, but if I just turn the camera on every now and again and see what I have going on today. Today is Wednesday, April 13th, and the first thing I need to do is just check my messages on my computer and I need to make some copies for uh, my daughter for her school and so that's what I'm going to be doing this morning and I'll just bring you along for my day. Uh, we already had breakfast and Bible time and I already did my outside chores and it is almost 11 o'clock so um, I'll just be back when I'm back. Alright, it's time to do some laundry so here we go folks. Here's an update on my new duck brooder. I had to do some major um, reinforcing. I took some cardboard and different things I had in my office and attached them to the wire on the outside because my silly dogs were sticking their noses through the wires and it just was making me really nervous. And then this morning, my biggest duckling jumped out of the pool and then couldn't get back in. So I took some poster board of old school projects that my kids did and I fashioned those up around the pool to make it like two feet or three feet tall. So those little duckies aren't going to be getting out of there anytime soon. But oh, it's okay. Here they are. They're a little bit freaked out in their new surroundings. It's okay, babies. But I need to get in there and do some cleaning. They've already gotten their water area and food area nasty so that's next on my agenda I'm going to do some cleaning in the duck brooder <laughs>
here's my lunch, a salad with romaine lettuce, um, some almonds, some pumpkin seeds, a little bit of diced ham, some of this honey mustard dressing, some hemp hearts sprinkled on top, and then these crackers, just a few of these artisan snacker crackers. I had got these at Aldi's a while ago, and I needed to use those up. So I used ate the rest of those. So that's my lunch for today. Okay, so now it's time to wash eggs. And there are lots of different ways to do it, lots of different ways people do it. I've done it different ways, and this is the way that works the best for us. Um, I collect my eggs for a day or two, and I leave them on the counter, simply because I usually just don't think about it, and I don't have time every day to wash the eggs. And I don't have to wash every egg. If they're not dirty, I don't wash them. And as long as you don't wash your eggs, you can leave them sitting on your counter for a while and they'll be fine. But once you wash them, you need to put them in the refrigerator. So, like, my duck eggs, they get pretty nasty, um, especially this time of year when the coop is such a mess. So what I do is I take this brush, and it's only for washing eggs. This is the only thing I use the brush for. And in my sink, I, I washed my sink out, and in my sink I have warm water with a little bit of dish soap and I use the non-toxic um, uh, nature friendly dish, dish soap. So then I take the eggs and I just two or three at a time I put them down in the water. Some of them need to be you know soak just for a little bit because they get they're pretty nasty. And then I just take the brush and scrub them so all the dirt and poop and everything is off and then I rinse them under water real quick and I set them over on a towel to dry and I will go through this process for all of my eggs that are dirty. Now some of my eggs, my chicken eggs, are perfectly clean or not dirty hardly at all and I'll just brush those off with my finger and put them aside and then there's some that um, are a little bit dirty, have a little bit of mud or something on them, and I just take a wet or a damp paper towel and I just wipe them, wipe them down. I don't, if they don't need to be scrubbed, then I don't scrub them. Now this one has a little bit of poop stuck on it, so just give it a little, a little scrub with the brush and then a rinse. And so that's how I do my eggs. So here are all the eggs washed and ready to go in the refrigerator. Um, I just wanted to mention that the white eggs are duck eggs from my Pekins. The green eggs are also duck eggs from one of my Khaki Campbell ducks. She lays green eggs. And then the brown eggs are from my chickens. And this is about two, two maybe three days worth of eggs. Um, so I'm going to get these put in the refrigerator and we'll move on with our day. This is how I store my duck eggs in the refrigerator because they won't fit in a conventional egg carton. I got it's like a nine by thirteen plastic um, pan uh, storage container, and I've got two of um, egg cartons with the bottom, just the bottoms of the egg cartons in there. And of course, they don't all fit. But this is about, I would say, this is about a week or a week and a half worth of duck eggs that we get, um, and that's with my husband eating an egg every day and sometimes my son eats one or two duck eggs a day and then on the weekends they eat both of them eat two duck eggs a day for breakfast so um, we're getting quite a few eggs now um, I have two khaki camel hens and, that are laying and I have five pecan hens and um, three of them are laying right now so we get about five duck eggs a day Okay, this is what we're having for supper tonight. Um, yesterday we had a gigantic pork roast for dinner, and so I saved half of it and uh, reheated it in the crock pot. And now I'm going to shred it up, and we're going to have pulled pork sandwiches on homemade hamburger buns and french fries and a vegetable. So I'm going to be shredding this meat. Okay, there's the um, beef, not beef, it's pork. 
shred it all up with barbecue sauce on it. Now, I'm not sure if it's saucy enough for, my, for me. I'm going to let it uh, heat through a little bit and then I'll taste it. And I don't have any more barbecue sauce, so if I think it needs anything else, I will just add my own uh, ketchup and things to it. But we're going to let this continue cooking, and I've got the yeast dough in the oven rising, and I'll be forming those rolls next. Okay, there's my dough, my hamburger bun roll recipe. You can use it for dinner rolls or anything you want, but I'm going to just make them into uh, hamburger buns. So I let it rise till it was double. And I've just pushed it down, got the air out of it. And now I'm going to form them into rolls. And let them rise again. And then bake them in the oven. If you're interested in the recipe for this, I can um, just leave a comment below and I can do a video on how I do these. There they are, those lovely looking hamburger buns, dinner rolls, yumminess. We're going to plate up our dinner and I'll give you a look at what my dinner looks like. Okay, here's my dinner tonight. We have french fries, homemade pulled pork on homemade hamburger buns, and a mixture of broccoli and peas. I usually just take whatever's in the freezer and throw it together for my veg vegetables. So, here we go. We're going to go have our dinner. All right, I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, it is after 8 o'clock at night, and um, shortly after supper, I got word that my mom had been taken back to the hospital by ambulance. Um, she is has been admitted into the hospital, and um, she has fluid around her lung, and the cancer is extensive. Um, she will be undergoing a procedure to drain the fluid, and she's on oxygen right now and hopefully she'll be able to come home again but the prognosis does not look good so if you'll just kind of remember that in your prayers I'd really really appreciate it thanks for watching today and um, I will try to vlog um, I don't know I haven't really set a goal for how long how many times I'm gonna vlog I guess just whenever I decide I feel like doing it so um, anyway I will close this out for now and we will See you the next time I decide to vlog. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.